Namaskar. So what is happening? Is China joining Russia in its war against Ukraine? Well, this is the latest development that I'm going to share along with a few videos uh, that are, again, not verified, but the numbers are certainly alarming. But before that, what has happened in the last few days? We know that Modi returned from Ukraine. And after that, Zelensky had a very interesting press conference where he sort of, uh, I won't say he uh, disrespected Modi, but uh, there were a lot of things that was that were said that didn't seem uh, possible when the visit was going on. So anyway, so this is like a backhanded slap, if you will. But whatever it is, Modi had to do monkey balancing in the sense he went to Russia. So he had to go to the other side also to make it look like India was truly neutral. And then now we are hearing that uh, both sides, that is Putin's aides and Zelensky's aides are going to be meeting. Whatever be the reason, we don't know. But we also saw that in Kursk offensive, Russia was uh, complaining that uh, NATO troops are also there along with Ukraine. So the problem right now for both countries, they are running out of able-bodied soldiers. So if that happens, then each one is going to resort to tactics on their own. For example, it has been alleged that people from South Asia have been um, participating on Russia's side as mercenaries. In fact, I think even some from India also were uh, alleged to have participated in that. So whose war is this? Why are people going and fighting? Well, maybe the money is good. Russia still has a lot of money to throw around. Perhaps that's what is happening. Whatever be the reason, Ukraine and Russia have both deployed troops that are not necessarily citizens of those countries. Now, this is the news that's coming in that China might be sending troops to help Russia. Is this another uh, move to try and bring about a ceasefire quickly on Russia's terms? Well, let's first take a look at what has happened. Is the CCP joining Russia in its Russian conflict? Well, what has happened is, according to Sputnik, um, a delegation from the People's Liberation Army, led by General Li Kuoming, commander of the PLA ground force, has arrived in Moscow. And I'm just going to show you a video that shows this. Here we go. So one could make the argument that this is routine and that uh, these kinds of things do happen and that not much should be seen into it. In fact, there's an article from South China Morning Post. I have given you the link in references section. So also I've given a link to these videos as to where these videos came from. Now, the next thing that has happened, on 22nd, this meeting happened. Lee Kyoming I met with Alexander Fomin, Deputy Defense Minister of Russia. And, and they basically discussed military cooperation, blah, 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 the usual stuff. Okay, now, not only this, there has also been news, especially on TikTok. There have been videos on TikTok that the first batch of CCP troops have landed in Russia. And it is 18,000, no small potatoes. And I have a video to show you for that too. Those of you who can read Chinese can tell me if the number 18,000 sounds right or not. And now, this is not all. Another video that I'm going to show you will show Chinese volunteers lining up in the streets of Moscow to enlist. You can see the dark dressed people lining up. Now, if you think that this is all make believe, well, all I can tell you is, you know, at some point, we have to start believing these things. Who is there? Is it all an elaborate charade to try and make it look like uh, these are all going to happen if something doesn't happen and by way of a ceasefire? Because Russia also is weak right now. Russia is weak and so is Ukraine. And both are tired. But I think Ukraine is being egged on by the United States, which gave a further $100 million aid. All these are not grants. Okay, These are all loans. 
and at some point of time ukraine will have to pay them who's going to be there to pay them i wonder is zelensky going to be there because already we are hearing murmurs about his corruption in many of these deals well he is seeing billions and billions of dollars go through his hands of course he's going to dip his hand also in it that's par for the course so whatever it is there are some more concerning clouds now if china officially does join then of course the west will slap sanctions on china and i don't know what is going to happen vis-a-vis -vis india and quad that is one of the things that has not been resolved yet even in this latest trip of rajnath singh that has not been resolved i thought that rajnath singh was there to kind of you know settle down some ruffled feathers because india had gone and visited russia but then again modi came back and visited ukraine too so there was some balancing that was attempted by the prime minister himself we're going to take a look into that in more detail with an expert shortly so stay tuned on that one but today as things stand there are strong rumors that china could be jumping into the conflict and if that happens of the top four superpowers two are arrayed on one side only one on the other side again us is not participating in this war it's only helping nato might jump in i don't know what's going to happen next but certainly troubled times ahead thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar